go. So as I was just saying, uh, mailbag's going to start at the usual time, 10 o'clock, so it's not quite time yet. Uh, it's going to be a quick one. You can see there's not a ton of mail today, which is good. It's just the right amount. We've got plenty of things still to take care of. Still playing catch up on everything all the time. So kids, I'll be back, all right?
Are you gonna open that, buddy? Cool. Okay, see you later. Oh, we lost one. <laughs> How do you get to open them? One of those packages is open. And you're needing on this one? You're gonna get an open? That's too silly. That is too silly. I need a pillow to sit on. Uh, let me grab something real quick. Hell. <laughs> Well, I don't know where he went, but, <clears throat> excuse me, caliper went, but when he comes back to the door, I'll get up and let him in. Unless DJ finds him first. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. All right, so we're here for today's mailbag. And as you can see, uh, probably going to be a brief one. Let me check the cameras. Hi, buddy. Make sure everything looks okay. Yeah, more or less. All right, that'll do. So, uh, news of the week. Um, you saw that Cahoots little kids all have their eyes open. You saw that... Um, uh, actually, that's not really real news, isn't it? This morning we opened up her box so the kittens theoretically can come out. And I'm amazed at how well they're already uh, up on all fours, excuse me, and walking. Like a lot of the kittens at this age, they'll be dragging their bellies and crawling around still. But all five of Cahoot's little kittens upstairs are uh, already able to stand up and, and sort of get themselves up off the ground. Um, but it's still, I would expect it to, <laughs> now he's at the door. Uh, I would still expect it to be, uh, a, you know, a while before they're actually wanting to come out of the box. There we go. I've never understood how it is that kittens that are that small that hardly know what's going on around them still know how to stay in, in the box. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's really remarkable that they, um, that they have that instinct to sort of stay in a place that's a poorly defined place to begin with once you take that wall down. But, uh, but it's, there you have it. So it, like I said, probably be a little while before they start really coming out. But we'll see. They seem pretty advanced. Uh, as for these guys, um, I don't know uh, the status of their applications yet. But I did say in the last close-up, it's probably your last chance to get any in. Um, so I feel like uh, Dawes probably is going to be announcing something soon. I'll let you know when we have uh, the adopters ready to, to name for these kids and uh, when they'll be going. Um, too soon, I'll tell you, it's, just, it's been really fun having them here, although uh, it has been a little bit of a struggle trying to keep Trinket, the girls, Trinket and uh, the mom, uh, Ocean, uh, from having conflicts with um, Maggie. So, And Logan's been starting some trouble with them, too, once in a while. So now that part needs to be easy. Uh, but uh, boy, am I going to miss them. They're so sweet. These girls especially are just both total sweethearts now. <clears throat> Let's get right into it. Somebody's already kind of into it. Yeah. There's two letters in here today, though. I see one. Oh, you did open this. Oh, I see. That's the catnip. That's the Dr. Pusson's monthly catnip that they dug into all the way. Uh, but they're still playing with everything. They're going to open it all if they get a chance. All right. Here's the other letter. So let's just start with those. As we do, I'm going to need a letter opener. All right, this is addressed to Mr. A and DJ. So let's see what that's all about. Oh, tiny note in a big envelope. Oh, oh with a nice, uh, with a donation. That's so nice of you. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> got, got a little bit of a claw there. That is very, very kind. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put that right in here. And the note says, actually, I'm gonna put it right in here. I don't wanna get confused. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, it says, do not read on the, on the show. Okay, I'm not going to. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you, though, um, uh, Penny and Gary. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, okay, very sweet. And <clears throat> let's move on then. This one is from Pumpkin Spot and Tumby. Uh, so we know all about that. And... Oh, it says all the kittens forever with yes, uh, pictures of all the kittens forever. You guys really want to help, don't you? That's good. Uh, it says my mailbag wish for you, all the kittens ever. That's cute. Lots of love. Okay. 
Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I simply couldn't resist this card as it was clearly meant just for you. Thank you so much for all you do to make the world a better place for so many cats and kittens and also for us humans. Most of all, thank you for Tumby. She is my best friend and you gave her such a great start in life. Please take care of yourselves and each other. You are loved by so many. Oh, well, thank you so much, Melinda, Pumpkin, Spot, and Tumby. That is really sweet, too. Uh, much appreciated. <clears throat> it's nice to, uh, I like the cards uh, a lot that we get. Uh, that's that's my, really my favorite part of Mailbag, the cards and the letters that are in the pack, just because um, I don't feel like people had to really... Um, spend a lot of money to do that and it, and it also because it, um, it it just makes me feel good especially letters like that so thank you so much oh mm -hmm. no bites okay well that brings us right into the packages this is going to be a quick one especially since one of these is already open for us and we already know what's in it this is uh the monthly subscription to dr pussum's catnip and this month we have the spooky party pack. I see it's all Halloween themed. Uh, we have a kicker, a mouse. It says mouse, actually. I don't see anything in here that quite looks like a mouse. Let's go ahead and open it up. Why wait? And it's in a cute little tray too. <clears throat> oh man, that is some strong catnip. This minute I get that plastic off, I can smell it. So the spooky party pack, one kick, one mouse. All right. Oh, that's next month. I see. That's next month, one kick, one mouse. So that's not it. So this is just the spooky party pack. This has a little tiny catnip in it. Uh, it's got this Halloween themed catnip with a tail. Oh, that's a fun one. Okay. It's got a couple of these little tiny um, felt balls too, which I think are going to be perfect to bring upstairs to those kittens. That makes a good first toy. Plus mom needs one of these with a tail on it. And maybe she can even have one of these bags too. Uh, the one that nobody's touching yet. So there we go. We'll bring all that in my pocket to go upstairs to Cahoots. And these kids can have this stuff. You like that, don't you? Yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay. So that's Dr. Pussum's uh, catnip, which is, uh, it's a very good catnip. They're kind of local, semi-local, New England anyway. And uh, their catnip, it, it seems like the cats generally like it quite a bit. And it lasts a long time. We like that. It's uh, every bit as good, if not better, than the owl catnip that's, uh, you know, available, I think, worldwide. <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, we like that quite a bit. I think, if anything, it lasts a little longer than the owl catnip does. Or at least that was what it originally turned us on to, is the, the fact that they kept going back to the Dr. Pussum's, the big kicker that we had uh, for a long time. And... Uh, that's that's what made me realize, okay, this really is the good stuff. Speaking of the good stuff, did one of you just steal my knife? That was real quick, guys. Did they did somebody run off with that? Hmm. All right, well, I have a spare and I'm sure it'll turn up when I stand up. Somewhere. All right, I need the backup. Here we go. The ecstatic cat. Interesting. Aw, oh, for Kahooty from Cat Attack 57. That's so cute. Uh, so let's see what it is. Oh, look at that. A little extra gift inside too. So we'll look at that. But this is from uh, this is from Cat Attack 57, and then it's from an Etsy store called the Ecstatic Cat. That's uh, ecstatic spelled E C S T A T I C. It's a word you don't hear used often enough. Very descriptive. Uh, I like it. Ooh, and it's a fuzzy, oh, it's a fuzzy uh, fur mouse kicker with uh, this feathery tail. She's going to love that. Uh, so that's for Kahootie, the mom cat upstairs. It smells kind of catnippy too. I'm just going to put it right in my pocket and that way she can have it right away. And also, uh, the people at the Ecstatic Cat have, oh, it, you can choose whether you want to have a, a rattle. It's got a rattle. Most of these don't have rattles in them. That's nice. So um, the the people at the Ecstatic Cat have written, uh, Hope Kitty Goes Wild with a smiley face. That's so cute. And then they sent a perk. I see what you did there for Kitty. A little extra bonus. Let's see what that is. Thank you, Cat Attack 57. This is very sweet. Ooh. 
This is a little tiny uh, piece of wool. Uh, whoops, there we go. A little tiny piece of wool, like a wool duster, and it's got a little tiny piece of leather that goes through it to, for them to bite on and chew on, and they like that kind of stuff quite a bit. And uh, better yet, you know, it's a string that's probably pretty safe if they end up biting a piece of it off. It's short, which is nice, and it's leather, which is, you know, essentially uh, digestible. So there you go. We like all that. Uh, that's perfect too. I'll just put that in my pocket as well. Let me make a cute little first toy for their kids as well because it's teeny tiny. Uh, Cat Attack 57. Thank you very, very much. Look at that. They like the tray. It probably smells a lot of catnip right now, but it's funny that they're playing now with the tray more than the, the catnip toy. <laughs> kittens, kittens, come over here and play with this. Come on. Okay. Very cute. Uh, where was I? I was going to open whatever's next. Look at that. We are moving right along today. This is Callie's mom. Care of Callie's mom. And inside it says, hello to all in K.A. Dom. Uh, thank you, Mr. A and DJ, for all you do. Congrats on reaching 300. Oh, and that's right. Um, our 300th kitten is one of the ones in the new class. I want to say Mayhem is kitten number 300. I could have that wrong. Somebody will know. Well, it's not kitten number 300. It's foster number 300. Uh, anyway, uh, here's a blanket for Cahoots, who did an amazing job bringing her all. I'll show you today is not the day. <laughs> Many me's into the world from Callie's mom. Yes, of course, right after I said, ah, oh, she's not going to deliver her kittens today, immediately uh, goes into labor. So <sighs> shows how much I know. Uh, this appears to be a, oh, a big marshmallow blanket, which I just want to see what color it is, but I don't want to take it all the way out. We'll, we'll put this to her endowments. Um, Let's just take a quick peek. I can tell just from the, the softness of it in here, it's probably the marshmallow blanket. Ooh, it's a rich wine red, a maroon color. Hope you can see that. And yes, it is a marshmallow blanket. So it's beautiful. And we've got a few of those around. There's that blue one that you keep that you were seeing in the spare room several times, but I keep taking it out because somebody's been peeing on it. Somebody peed on it once and then I cleaned it all out, cleaned the whole room, and then I put it back and immediately uh, I think it was Logan, of course. That's who I always blame for those things, but uh, there you have it. Anyway, they're great blankets if you don't have a Logan around, and if you do have a Logan around, they're still great blankets. You just got to keep them off, it, you know? Uh, so I'm going to write cahoots on this, and it will probably go to her endowments, but we'll see. Perfect. Uh, all right, well, for now, I'll just set that there. We don't even have a box full of stuff to bring to the basement going yet in due time. All right. Hi, Oshi. Do you guys want to sit here? Next up, we have... Hmm. It says pull to open, but they never, they never work for me. All right. Chair to open. All boxes are chair to open if you're strong enough. Okay. We got some classic toys here and maybe hopefully a note that'll tell us what's up. These are the uh, Smarty Cat Skitter Critters mice. They're just little mice with little rope tails uh, with catnip inside. They're, they're pretty uh, standard basic toys, but they work. They're, they're one of the toys like uh, this is like one of Logan's favorite things to play fetch with. He'll bring them to you all day long if he's got one. Maggie! Maggie totally started that. <laughs> uh, this is why when Maggie's out, the girls don't get to come out. The boys do fine with her. They'll leave her alone, and if she hisses at them, you know, they don't get in the way, and she doesn't chase them. But she antagonizes these girls for just no reason. Uh, anyway, this says, one set of mice for each of the Kahooligans endowments, one for Cahoots, and one to deploy as you see fit. From Shambit, that's uh, Gambit and Sham of the Ruses. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. So the Kahooligans, uh, good. Well, we're going to have to start. I think we've got a couple of endowments downstairs for them. We'll have to find some way to put all this together for them. So for now, I'm just going to pile it right there. We'll put this on top so I don't forget. Somebody had a very smelly tea in that litter box that you just heard them covering up. I'm glad you guys can't smell this room right now. My goodness. 
Uh, let's open a box. Oh, and this one says Kahoot, so that might be convenient, but we can just barely fit everything in it. And this looks like it is from Sage's Handmade, who made this wonderful kick bunny that you don't currently care about because you like to act like you can't do anything when you're wearing your suit, even though we know you do just fine jumping up on the counter to steal food with or without it. Okay. Oh, and we've got the note. Look at that. Perfect. And the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hello and welcome fall. I hope you're enjoying the cooler weather and the cats are enjoying the cold winds and the cat run. It's got to be a trip for the sailing kits to experience. I'm sending a new and different kick bunny for cahoots. Okay. I asked Discord what color I should make it and they said rainbow. So this happened. I'm not sure if she'll understand what to do with it, but it's stuck with Yao and from the field organic catnip and silver vine that I ground myself. <gasps> oh, I love it. It's such a cute little patchwork bunny. It says spot clean only. Look at that. That is the coolest thing. I absolutely love this. Uh, the colors, the pastel colors, and the way that it is like a little patchwork uh, bunny. That's, that's so cute. It says... Uh, um, okay, uh, so hopefully one of the other will trigger her instincts, and if nothing else, it will have cute covered in it. kittens. Please deploy if you wouldn't mind. Well, I wouldn't mind, and I'll tell you, every time I'm up there and she starts to get riled up and she wants to attack everything, including my hand, I think, ah, I should really bring a big kicker in here that I can use to antagonize her with, and then she can go nuts, and I don't have to worry about my hand. And this is absolutely perfect for it, so thank you for that. Uh, here it is next to... Uh, um, Oh, she's a little bunny. You can see very similar. Um, but uh, I do think that hers is way cuter. Look at that. Uh, as always, the crochet pattern for the bunny is available in my Etsy shop. That's Sage's Handmade, no apostrophe, no space. Uh, S-A-G-E-S-H-A-N-D-M-A-D-E. Sage's Handmade, the Etsy shop along with a bunch of other fun things for people and cats. Thank you so much for everything you do for kittens, cats, and humans, especially in the face of recovering from being ill. Uh, Kitten Academy is a gift, and I'm so grateful for the community you've helped bring together. Please take good care of yourself as things get back to normal at the Academy. Much love, Sage. P.S. Please give Ari some pets from me. Aw, well, thank you. That's very sweet. And since that's going to be deployed, uh, I can still use your... Wonderful box. Uh, this, I guess, I'll just sit right here until we go upstairs. Oh, it's got a, it's got a bell in it too. This one doesn't have a bell, does it? Oh, it does. Look at that. Oh, I feel musical. All right, uh, we're gonna put these right in here. Wow, I gotta, I gotta clean out that litter box. That smell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's for the Kugulikins and Downlets until I get to, uh, until I get to. A bigger box because we're going to run out of space here. We already basically have for cahoots and the kahooligans. Uh, let's see here. Hang on, coffee time. Uh, Sage is handmade. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for doing this for such a long time. You've sent wonderful things for every mom cat. They're, they're just a great design, and the mom cats love them, and the kittens love them, and this is um, from Michelle. We have the intelligent cat toy. It says, feather, hide and seek, cat box. Interesting. It looks like, um, you know, we get that fox hunt thing that's like the round dome-shaped thing, and it, when you turn it on, it's got a little feather that sticks out of a hole, and then it comes back in, and then it sticks out of a different hole. This looks like it's that, except it is square, which I haven't seen before. And it's got something going on on top, like little holes. Also, it says infrared sensing cat. Uh, it can automatically start. Feathers move in and out from the holes. Oh, the feathers move out the holes on the top, too. Oh, now that's different. I see. I see now. And that's why it's square, too. I get it. I see how it all comes together. That's how they did it. Uh, hang on. Let's take a quick look. No, oh, it really fills this box. Okay. They also say don't throw away the box because the box has some punch outs on it that you can use to make it into a cat toy itself, which is also cute. 
Before playing, please open the top lid and take out all the accessories. Well, that's also very cool that all the accessories come inside. You can just store them right in here. Uh, or maybe you can't store them in here, actually. That would interfere with the mechanism. They're just tucked in there for the purposes of this. But there are some other features that I really like. I see a USB-C port on the bottom, so I'm guessing you can plug it in if you don't want to go through the batteries. Let's see. Oh, it's a charging, it's a rechargeable battery. Okay, that's the first one of those I've seen too. How cool. Uh, and then one of these sides is a sensor. There we go. So it's got three sides that the thing can stick out of. One side that's a sensor that turns it on if a cat comes nearby. It's got the USB charging and uh, then it's got a little power switch and that's all there is to it. But then the feather can come out the top or the sides. I'm, I'm really excited to see this thing going. We'll have to give it a try soon, especially since these kids need so much stimulation in their room. This could be perfect for them to play with for a while. Probably going to need a little bit of a charge first though. So thank you, uh, Michelle, for that. That seems like a lot of fun. Put that right back in here. There we go. Hmm. The cat box, Miggy Paws. I love new, uh, especially tech toys, you know, something that's a little bit, um, and this is a, a, a different variety of the, the kind of thing that we've seen before. I'm sure it's the same mechanism at the center of it, but like I said, we've never seen the one that turns on with the infrared, and we've never seen one with the rechargeable battery, and we've never seen one where they make it 3D so uh, the feather can poke out the top and the sides. That's pretty clever. Uh, and they must have done something different with the mechanism because normally it's evenly spaced, but this one is going to be missing a spot where that sensor is. So I wonder if it must know not to stop in that location. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm excited to see it going and uh, see how smart it is. There's a slightly larger box. We're just going to keep upgrading like a hermit crab as we go. That's right. Save the note from Sages. We'll put it over here, though. Usually, I keep the note with uh, with the thing so that it can go to the adopter. In this case, I don't think that's going to work out. It'll be long gone by the time we figure it out. Okay, let's see. Ship Duke Kitten Academy. All right. Well, yeah, that's that part's accomplished. Ooh, wow, that is a box full of stuff and a note right on top. That's a lot of stuff. My goodness, those are some cute little mice in there. All right, let's see. We'll start out with a beautiful card with these uh, uh, photo, like a still life that's done with real, it looks like real little flowers. Um, I think they're lilies. Uh, yeah, they look like lilies to me mostly. And then inside it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, my mom and I have been tuning in since Bebop and her hipster Weebops. Seeing the mom cats, their kittens, the faculty, and of course, the both of you has brought so much joy in our lives. Now, two of my sisters are invested and we all watch and text each other about the daily news and goings on at the Academy. Some fun toys to be distributed as you want. Uh, Christina Gilly, oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's Gilly Girl on Discord, so I guess it's not, it's not awful that I said your last name. I usually try to avoid it just in case, but you know. Uh, anyway, uh, Gilly Girl on Discord, uh, that's G-I-L-I-G-I-R-L, -I -I Gilly Girl. Uh, that's a cute name, too. It's fun to say. So you did send a whole bunch of stuff, and thank you for getting your whole family uh, hooked. That's great. And I'm, I'm so glad, by the way, that we've got those micros that are going up. That reminds me, it just as an aside to the aside, uh, I realized that the micros are picking up the regular close-ups and including them, and that's a little bit redundant. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure we code that away. But in the meantime, I'm, I am aware of it. Um, anyway, I'm so glad that we've got that, and we've got uh, the scroll that's on the screen that says usually something like rewind to such and such a time to see something fun happen, and that's managed uh, mostly by the admins now, which is great on the Discord chat. And then we've got the regular close-ups going again too. So it's it's just it is it's a good time uh, I think. For, for us and uh, hopefully we're making it entertaining for everybody. So anyway, you spent, speaking of entertaining, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. This is like some leggy llama kicker. <laughs> it's very cute. Uh, it is a llama and it is uh, definitely long and leggy and it's got some crinkle in it and it's got some fur uh, Sherpa on it. Very appropriate. We've got a bag full of little real fur. Oh, Cats and Us. That's the, that's the, the brand that makes a lot of those. Rattle mice, they're all white. There we go. 
We have a madcap mania. This is one of those mice that has a tube of catnip and a little pocket, a little Velcro pocket inside so you can replace the catnip over time and it can last a very long time that way. I can see we've got our kittens are trying to get into the toys you sent already. Yes, they are. You've got to wait, guys. Uh, oh, we got a couple more of those too. So these are the little mice with the catnip uh, pocket in them. We've got a whole bunch. Oh, good. Well, that'll be great for these endowments. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five. Yes, I can count six of those. I think that's all. We've got the fish friends. Well, you guys, you're fish friends, aren't you? This is a cool set, though, because um, it's got... Uh, some neat patterns. It's got a camo one and a, a plaid one and then this super shiny orange one uh, with a green on the back of each of them. And then they've got feathers. This one's got some ribbons. Those are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and we've got a couple sets of those, what, I think, because I see, there we go. I saw this ribbon down there, so I knew there was going to be another one of those. Oh, we have another one. Another set of the rattle, real fur mice. I know you guys love this, but you've already got so many of these things around. We can save this for your endowments. I know you've got like, you must have a, a hundred of these things hidden in this room, right? Maybe they took them all out. Those are very popular toys. We have the Springs, a uh, classic, also very popular. This Hummingbird, oh, this Hummingbird makes a lot of noise once you take the little tag out. It's an electronic Hummingbird and it, it makes all the little Hummingbird noises. It says, real Hummingbird song. Huh, it's called the Hum Singer. I see what you did there, that's a cute pun. Uh, and it's shiny and it's got feathers and it's got that cute little nose that sticks way out. And you can see these guys want to play with everything right now. Uh, oh, uh, we've got sizzle, sizzle rope covered uh, mice here with real fuzzy tails. Oh, I see the, the tails are fuzzy because the tails are a bit of real fur. That's pretty cool. There's three of those in there. And oh, one more of the uh, the little rattle white mice that these guys are apparently loving very much. Yes, we know, but you've got so many of them. Where are the? Oh, here's one right here. See? Oh, this one doesn't have the. This one's not real fur, but it's it's the same idea, you guys. They're like, no, it's not the same at all. The real fur one's way better. We want that. All right. Wow. Uh, thank you so much, Jilly Girl. Uh, Jilly, Jilly Girl. I, is that right? I think that's right. I got to look at your card again, though, just to make sure. I'm sorry. Um, Gilly, Gilly girl, right? Yes, now I think I got it. That sounds right. Where's the card? Hang on. Uh, I'm going to put all this back in the box that you sent, and I think we're going to call most of this stuff for uh, endowments, but we may not get some of this stuff out here, too. Hang on here. It's so great. They're going to love it. Uh, yes, Gilly girl. That sounds right to me. Thank you. Wow. Uh, that is just wonderful. What a great set of things for them to enjoy, too. So... Um, that is, that's great. Uh, they're endowments. They're going to just, these kittens are, are just, everybody takes such great care of them. And I really appreciate it. I, you know, I couldn't, I literally couldn't do it alone. And uh, I, I don't, which is nice. Okay. Um, oh, look at this. I think this is from Charlie I, isn't it? Let's take a look and see if it isn't. Oh boy. That's exciting. It says to Mr. A, and there's a little line here that shows me exactly where to cut. Gently, yes. Okay. We got it. Nice and gentle. Oh, <laughs> instead, of, instead of knife guard, this says, ouch, that hurts. But I don't think I cut that far. <laughs> it's cute, though. Uh, some of the usuals in here. Um, well, okay, we'll get to it. Let's, uh, there might be a note in here. We'll find it in due time. But for now, as I'm unpacking to find it, we can just go through what we got. We have Felix Crispies flavored with salmon and trout. And what a cute little kitty on there. We have the Webox Licky Licks. I know a mom cat that's going to love those. This, I guess the chicken and they have yogurt in them. So they're not just light yogurts in a way. They are chicken flavored yogurt, right? Oh, man, that sounds awful. Um, <laughs> but the cats are going to love it. And uh, our little mom cat upstairs, big treat fiend. I bet she'll like that quite a bit. She also likes these uh, poultry and liver cat sticks. Now, I haven't seen this brand before. Koshida cat food. Uh, they're little treat sticks. Treat sticks are fun because they don't get all messy like some of the wet treats that we like. And uh, now I think an even more special place because if you remember, I was feeding her treat sticks right before she went into labor, she being uh, Kahootie upstairs. So. Uh, very, very cute. Look at that. A collection of little Christmas toys. Wow, that's a big bag of Christmas toys, actually, for us to put out when DJ starts decorating for Christmas. 
Uh, we got all kinds of stuff in here and very shiny too. We got shiny little uh, Christmas poppers and we got these balls here and a mouse and a reindeer. A couple reindeer actually. Gingerbread man, I see that. Uh, Santa Claus on a, I think he's attached to this little wicker ball. Indeed he is. That's an uh, interesting body for Santa. And a snowman. Uh, oh, and what's this? Oh, big one wearing a scarf and a hat, as they do. We have a, a cat scratcher that looks like a pineapple. Why are there so many pineapple things for cats? I don't understand. Uh, I mean, it's convenient for us, but that's crazy that so many of these things have been found. Uh, this is a new one on us, too. It ha you can hang it on a doorknob or something, and then the cat can scratch on it. And that is perfect for us to put in the annex. Plus, it's got this soft back, too. Uh, and a little ball for them to play with or to attract them to it. You're just going to sit here for the whole thing, aren't you? Okay. Very sweet. And right here we've got ooh, a bag full of those little mice with the tails. We're going to, since it's right here, we're just going to put one of these out there. Almost Christmas colors. Well, maybe not. This just a, I just saw a lot of red in here, there. But no, there's blue and white, too. Just the angle I was looking from. And yes, they do have little rattles in them which make them super fun right it's everybody's attention oh wow okay those are also great thank you so much and then one more thing that says uh oh oh there's the note okay it was just squished there in the bottom so let's get to that first this is a, the box says mr a and dr dj enjoy from weirdo and kevin but this says just a short note hi mr a and dr dj just a little pressy for you and the wife Cat stuff to do as you see fit, except you wrote AYSF. Wow. Okay. So we're really, uh, that's, that's cool. AYSF. I like it. Cat stuff do as you see fit. Take care, Charlie. Purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Thank you so much. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Okay. These are some treats right here. Look at that. We have Sainsbury Christmas pudding. It's six months matured. Oh my goodness. Uh, so Christmas pudding, or as we like to call Christmas coconut, because it's a long story. But uh, yeah, I, I think I actually had a Christmas pudding. I mean, I've had it a few times now because people do send them. It's not a thing that I ever grew up with. So that's why it was so unfamiliar to me the first time uh, anything Christmas pudding themed came in. But since then, uh, I've had a couple and they're good. They are good. It's sort of, sort of like a fruitcake, I would think. Uh, that's what I would call it. Uh, it, is, it is very much like a like a real dense kind of a fruit cakey thing in a way. It's got that similarity. Also, uh, like a like a fruit cake that is sometimes made with rum or something. I think these are also uh, like that. Plus, then you sent us a, a whole assortment of the Biscoff. Uh, we have the Biscoff and Dough, uh, which are like those cheese and crackers kits that you used to get as a kid, except these are crackers with cookie butter, and they're Biscoff crackers, which are like uh, cinnamon, uh, cinnamon cookies. They're... Very yummy. Uh, we've also got some of those right here, the Biscoff. And uh, then we have these, which are very interesting because DJ, uh, somebody sent us these, uh, a set of these just the other, a few mailbags ago. And I'd never seen them before. They're like Oreo or, or uh, sandwich cookies made with Biscoff. And then they have different fillings. The inside of this one says Biscoff cream, which I think is the one that DJ liked the best uh, of what we got before. And then the other one that we got before was vanilla, which I thought was pretty good. But this one we haven't seen. This one's got chocolate on the inside. And that sounds like that is my deal. So uh, thank you so much for all that and for taking such good care of us. That's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to the Christmas puddings. Maybe we'll have to have those when DJ does the tree decoration. Or do you have to save them for Christmas Day or thereabouts? I don't know. I don't know if there's a tradition to that or not. There's not for us, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but... Uh, I also saw something that was posted on our, uh, shared on our Discord anyway, about Charlie I. Uh, tell me if this is true or not. Did you get a Kitten Academy tattoo? Because that's what I saw, and it was awesome. Uh, it was like our logo with the uh, Kitten Academy lettering, and then below that, three little silhouette, uh, not line drawing cats that were really cute. And it looked legit. It didn't look like a Photoshop or anything. Uh, that is really really cool i think um uh i don't have any tattoos myself but uh, my dad did and i always thought it was really cool um i think i've thought about it before like if i were going to get one i think i would do a kitten academy tattoo uh 
yeah, it's uh, anyway, it's awesome. It's even if it wasn't, yeah, you know, if I got something wrong, if that's a mixed message somehow, uh, still very cool. All right, one last package, actually, believe it or not. Uh, what time is it? Wow, okay, well, we made it over half an hour, and that's what counts for the robots, so good enough for that. Uh, <laughs> Not that I can't override the robots if we have to. Wow, what is this thing? I see some candy corn. Ooh, it's a Halloween house. And all it says on the outside is Kitten Academy. Uh oh, three Halloween houses. What? Is that right? Or is it one Halloween house with three options? Okay, well, um, extra large entryway doubles as decor. Uh, don't eat that, buddy. Decor and toy, cardboard scratcher. And then on the back, uh, we have three spooky designs. So I bet it's random which one we actually have in here. That would make the most sense, I think. Uh, for cat, hers and joy. So it is, uh, I see one that's got like a, a, a bones theme. It's got all these bones on it and little fish bones. We got one that's uh, like a, a, I don't know, Halloween. Oh, it's got witch. I see it's got a witch here with bat wings and a, a little pumpkin there and then the last one is clearly a mummy kind of a theme it's got sort of an egyptian front on it and then this part's got uh mummy wrappings and the mummy wrappings have like little uh mice and bones and some eyes looking out of them and this arm sticking out so you know it's uh, not exactly a mummy but you can see the theme going on there very cute also it says it's got the cardboard scratcher that goes in the bottom and it comes with some catnip to get them started. This is great. We really need to get those Halloween decorations up uh, this weekend. Oh, and there's a note. I, okay. It says, it's the Void's favorite season to help the Kahooligans and their mummy <laughs> cahoots celebrate. That's cute. Happy Halloween, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, KA faculty, and cahoots and Kahooligans from Shambit, uh, Gambit and Sham of the Ruses. Well, thank you so much. That's going to be fun. And if this is for Cahoots, I think that her kids will be just about the age where they're ready to appreciate this uh, as Halloween comes around. But I don't want to put it up in their room yet because it might be a tempting place for her to move her kids, especially after we went in there and sort of modified her room this morning. I don't want to give her any extra uh, temptation to, to start moving those kids around yet. So uh, I think maybe in a week or two, we'll put this one up. But I will put it up by her room or in her room right now so we don't forget, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, thank you so much. That is really, really cool. And would you believe, uh, would you believe that is the, the end of Mandike for today? I, that came and went. It was very quick, uh, but full of wonderful stuff. Thank you all so much. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, and so as usual, uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to put all this stuff away and then we'll come back and wrap up the archive and then maybe I can figure out how to shuffle cats around so these kids can come out for a while and play. But, uh, like I said, if they're, if they're stuck in here for a little bit longer, don't feel too badly for them. They've hardly been stuck in a room at all during their entire lives. So it's good practice for them. Plus, uh, they, were, they were out all night. They just got put in here this morning at breakfast time. So, um, so you know, they could, they could stand to be in here for a little while, and that would be all right, too. It's Maggie's turn to be out and run around and terrorize everybody through the doors, which uh, she takes her duties very seriously. Um, so, yeah, okay, let me get this stuff put away, and then uh, we'll wrap up the archive, and then uh, maybe I can get uh, some, some of that tech work done today that's important, too. Uh, so, all right, here we go. Uh, I smell so much catnip. I think it's probably coming from my pocket, huh? Well, this all goes upstairs. This all goes downstairs. And then there's a the box from Charlie. I don't know exactly where it goes because some of that's Christmas. I'm just going to get confused about it. That's okay. We'll figure it out. There's my knife. All right. There it is. I need to turn it up. All right, kids, don't drink my coffee. I'll be right back. I mean it.
Hi, Cody. I brought you some things. We brought some new things that were sent just for you. Don't get up. It's okay. I'm going to put this right here. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to put this over here. I don't think you're quite ready for it yet. And i got a pocket full of toys that I think you're going to like, too. When the time is right. There we go. Put that over there. Put that over there. <laughs> These can come by your little kittens right here. Oh, oh, wow, right, right in there. Okay, nice throw. Cool. What do you think of this? Did you see this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> She's not sure yet. It's just a little big. Am I really allowed to bite it? You're encouraging me to bite things now? All right, you'll figure it out. If I bring this all downstairs, I will at least figure it out from there. So let me do that. I'll be right back again. Go and drink my coffee. Break here for a second and empty this litter box. My goodness, kids. Yeah, no, oh no, Spy, why, why, no, come on. Now he's just wrestling with the litter scoop. Now that's ridiculous. No, you're being ridiculous. What a mess. Who taught you this, pal? Who taught you this was a good idea? The rest of this is going to head to the kitchen word, I think. plug this toy in. Maybe kids will get a chance to play with it in just a little while. For now, stay here until we figure out how to shuffle everything.
on you guys. All right, so I plugged that in. Looks like it's going to charge up, and uh, I thought I'd just bring the box in here since it came with these little toys. And uh, it's silly too because it says "cat box, intelligent cat toy," and so you could think it's just talking about this plain old cardboard box now. <laughs> Not very intelligent, but what? Yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah, good luck getting that out. Good luck, buddy. It's in there. Oh, you already got one out? What? You're just going to take it away? It's, a, it's one of the little, there's a little Charlie ball that came with I put in there. Okay, I'm going to put it back in. That's fun, isn't it? All right. Well, you guys can keep watching them do this. Uh, you can watch the kittens upstairs or whatever else is on the stream, but I am going to end the recording right here. So um, thanks for joining us for another mailbag. And thank you so much to everybody who sent everything for these little kittens and for the kittens upstairs. Uh, they're just going to have such great lives here and afterwards. Oh, you know, I recognize the Mickey Paws logo. It's that uh, that ball that has the weird little tail on it that makes it roll around that we were using uh, with uh, mostly with the previous class in the room upstairs with the climbing wall. I don't remember that. I put the ball down and it would just go and then it would stop in the corner and then it would, I just leave it up there for days because every time they would touch it, it would start going around again. Uh, that's the same, same brand. I recognize that. Yeah. 